With the 2016 election being the hot topic this month, students are making their voices heard. <laughs> know that your voice matters. Yeah. The night after the election, protesters of all ages took to the streets, but in front of San Francisco City Hall, it was the students who stayed the latest to let their feelings be known. On midterm elections, yeah. Yeah. turnout's always down when you look. In the past week, a number of Bay Area schools have had student walkouts. This map shows some of the cities where they have occurred, most notably in San Francisco, Oakland, and Berkeley. I spoke with Sacred Heart Cathedral Preparatory Assistant Dean Aaron Kayser about what is motivating these students. I think a lot of students around the Bay Area, and, and in particular here at Sacred Heart Cathedral, were really surprised and disappointed by the outcome of the election. They felt that the country went in a very different direction than our little bubble here in the Bay Area. And when the numbers started coming out with the popular vote, I think they really started to feel that pull of not having a voice for the first time. I reached out to the Republican Student Union at San Francisco State University for their opinion on the ongoing student protest, but received no response. These walkouts aren't just happening locally. They're happening all places across the country, Seattle and Washington, D.C., to name a couple. It'll be interesting to see how students continue letting their voices be heard, especially in the upcoming years when we have the 2018 election and the 2020 election. From San Francisco, Julian Gaskins, State of Events.